Okay, I want to talk about what derivatives tell us about the shape of a curve. So we have a curve here. f of x is x to the fourth minus 4x cubed. We want to work out the intervals of increase and decrease, the concavity, the points of inflection, and the local maxima and minima. To start with, we want to talk about the domain of the function to make sure we uh, look at the function over the across the entire domain. Now the domain for f is going to be the real line minus infinity to infinity because f is a polynomial. The next thing we want to do is compute the derivative. And so the derivative f prime of x is 4 x cubed minus 12 x squared. And we can write that as 4 x squared into x minus 3. If we want to figure out when the function is increasing or decreasing, we want to determine whether f prime is positive or negative. We have a quantity here and right here. And so we'll set up a table and look at the interval and we'll put in 4x squared, we'll put in x minus 3, and then we'll use those to determine the sine of f prime, and then we'll ask whether it's increasing or decreasing. So we start the interval from minus infinity to zero. And on that interval, 4x squared is going to be positive. And uh, x minus 3 will be negative. I'll just put a minus sign. And so uh, f prime will be a positive times a negative, so it'll be a negative. And so the function is decreasing. Now on the interval, 0, 3, 4x squared, again, is going to be positive. I'll just put a plus sign in there. x minus 3 is going to still be negative, and f prime is therefore going to be negative, and it's going to be decreasing. On the final interval, from 3 to infinity, 4x squared, again, is going to be positive. However, x minus 3 is also going to be positive, so f prime is positive, and so it's increasing. I'll just make this table a little bit bigger. Okay, so what happens at this point here is we go from decreasing to increasing. And so by the first derivative test, there is a minimum. have a minimum at x is equal to 3, and then y is equal to f of x is equal to 3 to the fourth minus 4 times 3 squared. And that turns out to be minus 27. Okay, what about the second derivative? We differentiate once again, and we get that f double prime of x is equal to 12x squared minus 24x. And so this is equal to 12x into x minus 2. So we're going to do the same kind of thing as we did before, and we have the interval. And the first quantity we're going to consider is 12x, and the second quantity is x minus 2. And then we're going to look at f double prime, and then we have concave up or down. Okay.
and hopefully we just about have enough room here. So we go from minus infinity to zero to start with. Then we go from zero to two. And then we go from two to infinity. So in the interval minus infinity zero, 12x is going to be negative. And uh, x minus 2 is going to be negative, so f double prime is going to be positive. And a positive second derivative is like a happy face, so it'll be concave on. On the interval 0, 2, we're going to have positive here, negative here, so this is negative. And so it's a sad face, so it's concave down. Finally, on 2 infinity, we're going to have 12x is positive. X minus 2 is also positive, and so f double prime is positive, and we're concave up. Okay, so we have a change in concavity at 0 and 2. And this is an inflection point. at x equals 0, so y will be equal to f of x, f of 0 is equal to 0, and at x is equal to 2, and y is f of 2. So we have talked about the intervals of increase and decrease right here. We found a minimum where we go from decrease to increase. We've talked about concavity here and we found two inflection points. So when we put all of this together we have a function that looks something like this. And so we're at 2 and minus 16 we have an inflection point. We're at 3 and minus 27 we have a minimum minus 16, minus 27. And so we also have uh, a point where the uh, f prime is equal to 0, exactly when f is equal to 0. And so we're going to have a function that decreases, changes concavity here, and then comes up like this. And what's sort of interesting is that the function decreases to uh, 0. And exactly at 0, f prime is equal to 0. Because if we plug in f prime of 0, this will be 4 times 0 squared times 0 minus 3, which is equal to 0. And so we have a point where the tangent line is zero, but it's not going to be a minimum or a maximum, which is kind of cool as these things come up from time to time. So this is the shape of the function. And the way we understand the shape of the function and the max and the min is through computing the first and second derivative.